11. Fencing also on the schedule yesterday for Team Bahamas at CAC. Antonio Lewis was making his debut at this level. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to win any of my bouts. I would say that it was a learning experience, and I look forward to fighting the same, some of the same opponents to see how much I've improved. Coming to Colombia, I was able to practice here in their facilities, and thankfully some of the athletes and their coaches, they were gracious enough to say, well, let's spar or let's help you out. It's been a busy summer so far for the Freedom Farm Baseball League, and the fun isn't over just yet. Later this week, a team will leave for the under-12 Cal Ripken World Series in Branson, Missouri. The players spoke about how practice sessions have been going. It's been wonderful because we get to learn more, and our coach helps us to perform better, and he shows us the right things. How do you hope to perform when you reach to the World Series? Now that's the big league, the big dogs, though. Uh, I hope we represent our country and that we play with our, all our ability and put 100% effort in it. What do you think is going to be the key for you guys to pull this one off? By working hard. It, once you work hard, go out of your box. Mm -hmm. He ain't going to let you down, so we got the privilege to win this tournament and represent our country. At practice, we've been training hard. But I think we could train a little harder. Mm -hmm. I think we're preparing well for the for the World Series that we're going to attend. I think once we give 110% effort, we do, we do good. You have a lot of talent. Young, strong. You know, some of us believe, we believe in ourselves. We try hard, practice every day to achieve our goals. Head coach Greg Barrows Jr. likes the team they have assembled. A very athletic team. Um, we have a good pitching staff. Um, we had some troubles in the last tournament on defense, but I think we, we've, we've covered some of those, uh, those gaps and we're going to be able to have a good show in this tournament. Describe the type of boys that we have. Uh, motivated, um, very athletic. Uh, guys who could run strong, throw, who could really throw the ball. So in some cases, we, we kind of just use our athleticism to, out, and to win games, but these guys are also pretty good at playing, playing baseball. Uh, catching the ball, throwing it, uh, and getting hits. From the minor league baseball diamond yesterday, Chavez Young, two for four in RBI and two runs scored, also stealing his 23rd base of the season to lead Lansing past Dayton 8-3. Meantime, in the Dominican League, Keith Ron Moss, one for five in RBI and a run scored in the Rangers' 9-8 loss to the Indians. Two games last night in the Bahamas Government Departmental Basketball Association. In the opener, the Airport Authority Avengers dealt with the police enforcers 93-65 behind 17 points from Cecil Mackey. Samuel Fox added 16, John Smith at 13, Kamal Murphy finishing with 12. In the loss, Arnold Stubbs 18, Keno Pinder 13, Granville Wallace had 12, Craig Hanna with 11. In the nightcap, the Defense Force Mariners easily got past the Game Changers 60-34. Leading the way in the win was Elway Pickstock with 14 points. Renal Clummer chipped in with 13 for the Game Changers. Kristen Davis a double-double, 14 points and 13 rebounds. Keith Russell also in double figures with 10 points. Two games on tap tonight in the Republican Softball Association, both in the ladies' division. Up first, the BTC Warriors taking on the Alive Strikers. That's followed by the Platinum Pool Sharks and the Hennessy Panthers. And the 26th edition of the annual AID Clay Court Championships will be held at the Gym Tennis Club in Winton Meadows, August 11th through the 25th. The tournament is sanctioned by the Bahamas Law and Tennis Association for the awarding of national ranking points in each of the 10 categories, which includes gentlemen's and ladies' open singles and doubles, gentlemen's and ladies' junior vets singles and doubles, also mixed doubles. Additionally, boys and girls under 18 singles will be held for our younger tennis stars. The entry deadline is Wednesday, August 6th. At 6 p.m., the draw for all divisions will take place the next day, 6 p.m., at the Gym Tennis Club. And that will do it for your first look at sports. Don't go anywhere. First at 6 is back after the break. ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. We'll be with you through new beginnings and sunset endings, through toil and many tears, through the joys and many fears. For all of life's ever-changing moments, trust J.S. Johnson Insurance Agents and Brokers for all of your insurance needs. J.S. Johnson Insurance Agents and Brokers, giving you peace of mind.
first memory of music would have been a performance when everyone was singing the song. The song was drop down and come up slow, and everyone in the crowd was singing. I was amazed. I was in shock. I did not always want to be a performer, you know. I actually wanted to be a doctor. And when I was on my way to med school, I had this whole epiphany, and I went to Berklee College of Music, and that's when I made the switch. If I weren't singing, I'd be singing. I love track and field. Many different things inspire me. You know, it, it isn't anything specific. It's just, you know, just enjoying the environment. And that's what I think music should be about, being free. You know, tap of a button, I'm able to get in contact with persons from all the way across the world. Technology acts as that bridge that keeps me connected. If you see in one word, I would have to say clutch. Connected with family. 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 Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Adrian Gibson. Now the Bahamas residents can fly or cruise free to the family islands. What are your summer vacation plans? I'm gonna go to Long Island, and you should come too. And there's no better time than now with the two fly or cruise free promotion, where all residents of the Bahamas can fly or cruise free to the family islands from Nassau. Let's go. Refresh, reconnect, and unwind in the family islands. For details, go to BahamasResidents.com and fly or cruise free to the family islands today. The Morning Edition is here on the ZNS Television Network. Waking up to traffic, weather, news, and developing stories. It's the Morning Edition with your ZNS News team. Waking you up. Welcome to the best of sports world. Hey, have you heard? ZNS is everywhere you are when you download the new ZNS app. Whether you're on the move or just kicking back. Miss something on the news? It's there. Want to keep up with a live update? It's there. Or just want to listen to your favorite station? It's there too. Download the app now from the App Store and Google Play Store. Time now for weather. In our first look at weather, the tropics remain quiet and we have that upper level trough now moving toward the west and away from the Bahamas and uh, that should bring some relief uh, to the northwest Bahamas in terms of rain showers. We'll still have the pop-up showers, but they will certainly be decreasing in terms of uh, their frequency. And outside of our studios, uh, we have partly sunny conditions, uh, temperature around 82 degrees. We have a relative humidity of 68%, the barometric pressure 1,017.8 millibars, that's 30.10 inches and it is steady. That's going to do it for your first look at Weather 6. Stay tuned. More weather is still to come. Thanks a lot, Basil. Well, that does it for us. And first at 6, stay tuned, though. The Bahamas Tonight Northern Edition is straight ahead. the Bahamas sluggish economy impacted holiday travel, we'll find out. 15 outstanding citizens of the East recognized. And the search is on for a missing team. The Bahamas Tonight Northern Edition starts now. the Bahamas tonight, the Northern Edition. Good evening all, I'm Megan Shepard. Thank you so much for tuning in. Topping the news tonight, it can be one way to gauge the state of the economy, holiday travel. The summer months are usually the travel period for Bahamian families. While some have had to cut back, a local travel agent says they are pleased to see that residents are still investing in a vacation despite the current economic challenges. While many residents on Grand Bahama continue to struggle financially and to hope for brighter days on this island, they are still making relaxation and travel a priority. 
General Manager of Jags International, James Turner, says that despite the slow economy, he is encouraged that Grand Bahamians are still finding the time and finances to make summer travel happen. But I ought to tell you that we're encouraged because um, the traffic's been coming in and our loyal customers have been fairly loyal to the course so far. It's been good uh, for a number of reasons, one of which is we offer some specials. We make it easy. Uh, Valeria right now is offering a 30% off. Celebration has made some mild adjustments, but nothing significant in their pricing, so that has been good. Normally there are some reasonable hikes that go on for summer, but they, you know, they've kind of held the line this time. Bahamas Air for the first time gave us some special fares that, make, that made one-way travel on Bahamas Air and then come back on the boat a whole lot easier than it has ever been. So that's also been helpful. While the number of persons booking through the agency is off by some 15% compared to last year, Turner says that the peak of summer travel is just now approaching. The end of July, the first week in August, that's when we see what's really going on out there. Have you asked me that same question? about the 10th of August, and I tell you, it's, you know, this is the story, we're 15% behind, then we start to panic. Because summer is really when we expect to really have some reasonable earnings. James says he believes that Bahamians continue to make the sacrifices for travel because family time is still a top staple in the Bahamian culture. Family is important to us. And if you don't take a vacation time, it really suggests that you really don't have time for your family. So whenever we see folks taking time just to get their family together, to take a quick trip into Florida, just have some quality time, is wonderful. Now I know that there are some men who say, you know, shopping is, that brings on a different type of phobia, right? But women love it. And I can tell you that, I mean, I was married for 28 years and I hate shopping, but it's something that my wife enjoyed. So I just tagged along and the, the time, just, you know, debating over the items was one issue. But just spending the time, the quality time with your family is just wonderful. And it's good to see Bahamians continuing to do that, even though things are challenging at this time. Independence celebrations officially coming to a close on Grand Bahama with the unveiling of a wall of fame in East Grand Bahama. Some 15 honorees were selected for a special recognition for their vast contributions to the community of East End over the years. It's how your hall has more. The posthumous honorees include Florence Eden, Reverend Aram Lewis Sr., Reverend Cleveland Cooper, Elder Genius Cooper, Reverend Stanford Lang, Lovely Blue Pinder, Olive Ann Blue Pinder, Reverend Freddie Lang Sr., and Reverend Joseph Pinder. The other honorees are Kenneth Dixon, Nolan and Shaniqua Bartlett, Veronica Russell, Reverend Lawrence Lang, and Reverend David Pinder. Chairman of the Freetown Township, Marcus Cooper, sharing the vision for the East Grand Bahama Wall of Fame. 20 years later, generations will be able to know who are the movers and shakers of this beloved East Grand Bahama. To me, this is not about legacy. This is nothing more than about preserving the history of East Grand Bahama and making it available to everyone. Chairperson of the East Grand Bahama Special Projects Committee, Brenna May Cooper, says every two years, persons in the community will be honored. This is indeed only the start of something great. The start of something great. Therefore, moving forward, the committee proposes that both, that both posthumous and living individuals' nominations be completed solely by the community. District Administrator Gay Antoine Bow delivering remarks. East Grand Bahama needs more people who will endeavor to give instead of seeking to be paid for every little thing. They do or waiting on government to do minor things within East Grand Bahama. Many of our or your ancestors would have, would have used very little resources. They had to build East Grand Bahama with their main resources, or their main resource being each other. Deputy Prime Minister and Member of Parliament for East Grand Bahama, the Honorable Peter Turnquist, calling the unveiling an auspicious occasion. I have come to too many funerals and watch history die without any record, formal record and recognition of what these people would have contributed to this community. And so it gives me tremendous, tremendous satisfaction uh, and pride uh, to be here today to help witness 
this historic occasion. East Grand Bahama is known for having contributed to this island and to this country some significant people who have helped to build what we celebrate today as Grand Bahamians. Following the ceremony, the wall was officially unveiled. Reporting for ZNS Network News, I'm Italia Hall. The Minister of Agriculture and Marine Resources, the Honorable Michael Pintard, and a delegation from this ministry paying a courtesy call on the Minister of State for Grand Bahama this past Friday. Minister Pintard was joined by Executive Chairman of BAIC, Michael Folks, who says there are opportunities available for Bahamians. Our focus in the Ministry of Agriculture and Marine Resources will be how do we match viable projects in marine resources and agriculture where the science shows that they have potential to generate revenue, but the absence of funding is what has been hindering those entrepreneurs. BAI, see that will be driving that process, no doubt. And then, of course, with respect to the uh, canine unit and the work being done by the veterinarians associated with the ministry, there is a fairly uh, contentious issue at the moment where there is a move to export what could end up being hundreds if not thousands of pot cakes to various countries to find homes and so we're entering those discussions to see how this might be facilitated. We have a program that is and we're in collaboration with the IDB and uh, that is the revitalization of the sponge industry in the Bahamas. The Minister of State for Grand Bahama, Senator the Honorable Kwesi Thompson, says he is confident that Minister Pintard is up for the challenge, adding that the Ministry of Agriculture has already been of great assistance to the beekeepers program. The program, we've actually been in a, a design process uh, in conjunction with the Ministry of Agriculture <clears throat> with utilizing a portion of the building that's downtown for the APRI program. Uh, and so we look forward to uh, continual dialogue uh, and continual collaboration. There is tremendous opportunity in Grand Bahama with respect to agriculture. Uh, and we expect uh, that Minister Pintard is going to do all within his power, all within his energy uh, to advance uh, agriculture in Grand Bahama uh, with a view to continuing to focus on revitalizing the economy uh, of Grand Bahama. In other news, police confirming today that they now have four suspects in custody in connection with that heist of John Bull in Port Lucaya. Close to $1 million in high-end watches were stolen in a smash and grab one week ago by two robbers dressed in women's clothing. Police have also confirmed that some of the stolen watches have been recovered. Officials say they are pleased with the progress of the investigation. 35-year-old Samuel Williams of Hawksville convicted on the charge of possession of dangerous drugs with the intent to supply. He was arraigned before Magistrate Rangan Johnson yesterday and pled guilty to the offense. Williams was sentenced to 30 months at the Bahamas Department of Correctional Services. Police have issued an all-points bulletin for missing teen Tamia Kemp. The 16-year-old student and cashier of Beaconsfield Freeport was last seen on Wednesday, July 25th. At that time, she was wearing a pink and white tie-dye top gray drawstring basketball shorts, and maroon slippers. Tamiya is of dark brown complexion, dark brown eyes, 165 pounds, and 5 feet, 2 inches tall. If you know the whereabouts of Tamiya Kemp, you should contact police at emergency numbers 911-919 or 350-3014 through 6. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition. Stay with us. There's more news right after this break. This portion of the news is brought to you by Dolly Madison, Freeport's original home center. 
What if the solutions to your household challenges was just around the corner? Like upgrading to rooms to go furniture, landscaping your property, modernizing your kitchen, fixing your plumbing and electrical issues, ace paint for your home, television upgrade, and electronics. Cool to simplify household repair. Awesome kitchen gadgets and utensils. Machines and tools for yard work. Outdoor furniture and grilling supplies. You've got challenges? Dolly Madison's got the solutions. Come on down. Now, you can win big with Pizza Hut's Big Dinner Box Summer Deal. Not only will you get two delicious medium one-topping pizzas, five breadsticks, and juicy wings, and a refreshing two-liter Coke, you get to enter to win a fabulous seven-day Caribbean cruise for two with Gateway Travel on Carnival Cruise Lines. Mom and Dad can use it, and we got money. Pizza Hut's Big Dinner Box Summer Deal can make you a winner. Other prizes also available. Win big. Welcome to Jags International. We have Celebration Valeria FRS Bahamas Air Hotel Car Vouchers now on sale. Girls, I tried to book my ticket online with them ferry them. So complicated, they asked them for too much. That's why I stick to Jags. No agency fees or booking fees. Cash and credit, all the same. Blow deals and spectacular services for the smile. Yes, that's Jags. Your one stop shop to Fort Lauderdale, Palm Beach. And Miami. We even offer cheap car rental vouchers, dollar thrifty hertz, and VIP service. Book now with Jags and get their $5 discount card. And don't forget the super sales going on. That is here. Reduce that power bill today with solar systems and lights. Solar Up Bahamas, giving you free power throughout the Bahamas. It's back to school and back to school savings at Bellevue Business Depot. For all of your back to school and teacher supplies, they have it all at an extra 20% off retail price. Crayons, glue, markers, crayon pencils, backpack, character bags, meat notebooks and teacher supplies for the classroom and much, much more. Don't forget to take advantage of the backpack bundles for preschool, primary school and high school loaded with all the supplies you need for back to school. Teachers get your first 8-foot butcher fadeless paper free when you purchase a minimum of 10 feet as well as additional discounts at the coffee center. All at Bellevue Business Depot, located on Queens Highway. Hey, buddy, are you on TV? Look, are you on TV? Mom, guess what it is? That's me. Fountain, do you see me? Are you on television? I gotta tell my girlfriend I'm on television. Hello? Babe, turn your television to ZNS. Quick, are you on television? I don't have a TV in there. We have Wi Fi, though. We have Wi-Fi. That, that's fine. They upgrade now. You can watch it live from your phone. You just have to download the app. All right, hold on. Go to the app store, type in ZNS, download the app, and you'll be able to watch ZNS straight from your phone. Are we on the phone over there? Get your news and more anytime, anywhere with the new ZNS app. Stay connected from around the globe with our live stream news updates. All in the palm of your hand. You can also listen to the ZNS radio network for your favorite music. Go into your Apple or Google Play Store and download the ZNS app today. Miss Isis Star, now I still gotta pay. Covering the Northern Bahamas, you're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. It is time now for our weekly Generation Y report. Tonight, our Italia Hall speaks with a young man from Abaco who recently discovered a new talent and has since captured a top award. 16-year-old Dikembe Wilkinson is a student of the Patrick J. Bethel High School in Abaco. Dikembe recently joined the debate team at his school and took part in a competition in New Providence and walked away with the Best Speaker Award. One of his recent speeches he wrote focused on whether or not students should wear uniforms at school. It's June 2015. A white Honda pulls into the vicinity of L.W. Young Junior High School. Campus security approaches the vehicle and suddenly shots ring out. The police officer is severely wounded. The assailant described as wearing a school uniform. Chairperson, honorable judges, my opponents, ladies and gentlemen, can you imagine the cause of concern for such an event? But what you don't know is debating was not always his passion. He says if it was not for his teacher and debate coach, Ms. Cartwright, he would have never been interested. He says being a part of the team gives him a renewed motivation to get his grades up and to graduate successfully. Ms. Carrot always felt like I have a voice for the day, and she usually talked to me about it, telling me that I should take part of it. 
actually when we was in grade 10, she wanted me to be a part of the debate, but I didn't. Because I wasn't really into it at that time, I was really into sports. And then in grade 11, I decided that maybe I should try it. And right now, I really love the big. I really do feel like Ms. Carr brought something out of me that I probably would have never been able to bring out if she wasn't there to help assist with it. As for the competition, he says it was intense. And I felt that if I gave in effort and actually used my potential, then it, we'd be able to get some wins over there. And gladly made our go proud. Thanks, Italia. An organization formed by Bahamians, but based out of Tampa, Florida, 242 Give Back, donating 500 backpacks to the less fortunate here on Grand Bahama. The presentation was made to Reach Out Youth Ministry, who will distribute the backpacks to churches on the island. President of Reach Out Ministry, Dudley Said, and his wife, Katie, believe the school supplies will be a blessing to many families here on the island. Because of the supplies, uh, the school kids will have, like I said, it'll be a little easier on the parents. You'll have books, pencil, and other supplies in the backpacks. So I just want to say a special thank you to them that God laid them on their heart. They came all the way from the United States uh, to bless the kids here in Grand Bahama. President of 242 Give Back Organization, Jason and Bernetta Edwards, as well as their son Joshua, say these donations were made possible because of a community effort in Tampa from Bahamians who jumped on board when they heard how they can be of assistance to those who need it most in Grand Bahama. They say without their corporate sponsors, like the Lukayan out of Tampa, Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line, and Margaret and Eric Campbell, this venture may have not been possible. Our drive and our hope this year is to actually bring awareness to the need here in Grand Bahama, but also to inspire uh, other private citizens as well as those who are abroad, um, companies that are locally, that they will be able to pour into and support uh, the, the whole mindset of the, of the community. Uh, we need to get back to being a community, uh, looking out for one another and helping one another. So our goal in doing this is actually to reestablish the community fuel of looking out, being our brother's keeper. I know that we are right now partnering with uh, great organizations such as Reach Out and a few others that I know that these bags will get into the hands of the children that need it most, and that was our intention. I just want to thank all the sponsors for bringing in supplies and helping us because without all of our sponsors, this wouldn't happen. So I just want to thank, thank all everyone who gave. Tonight, the Friends of the Regency Theater are continuing the campaign to keep the Regency alive. The facility that has helped to cultivate some outstanding local talent in the arts is facing a financial crisis, and the public is invited to help keep the doors open. I've been performing at the Regency since about 2000. That's uh, more than half of my life. <laughs> and this place is more than just a building. It's like a home, it's like a family, it's like therapy. Um, you get to escape into a world that you can create for yourself, become a new person. Um, all the things that were bothering you before around you in life, they don't matter anymore. so amazing about acting and about developing your skills someplace like this. They teach you that even though you're one little speck in this universe, there's a personality that you bring to a character that only you can bring. And so in that one moment on stage, <laughs> the entire world is watching just you. And like that makes you feel special. Theater has, it's brought so many shy people out of their shells. It's trained so many speakers, so many actors, so many entertainers, singers, musicians. Um, you, you would be surprised to see how many people came out of here, how many people got their start here. And it's because they got a chance to be on stage that they were able to develop their gifts, develop their talents, and then go on further in life. 
Now a telethon was held this past Sunday, but you can still donate to the Regency Theater by dialing 602-GIVE. And now it is time to ask the doctor. This is Ask the Doctor. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt. Pat asked, why do you feel so tired as you reach the age of about 55 and over? Your energy levels seem to diminish. What can you do? Pat, thanks such a good question. There's a medical term for the lack of energy, which is energia. And while some people may think slowing down and feeling fatigue is a normal part of the aging process, the truth is lack of energy is usually a sign that there may be a specific medical problem that needs to be addressed. Some medical disorders that can cause a lack of energy include heart and kidney dysfunction, arthritis, lung disease, anemia, and depression. Medical research has found a link between energia and increased incidence of arthritis, sleep disorders, cardiovascular symptoms, and other health issues. So if you experience a lack of energy that begins to affect your normal daily activities or routine, don't accept it as a normal part of getting older. Make an appointment with your family doctor or visit your community clinic to rule out a serious medical condition. If you have other health-related questions, please drop it in my question box at the hospital or at any of our Grand Bahama community clinics. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. Don't go away, a check on sports is up next. This portion of the news is brought to you by Exquisite Weddings, providing you stunning creations for a memorable occasion. Call today, 559-5070. Tired of the endless bank fees and long lines? The Grand Bahama Cooperative Credit Union is the solution to making your money work for you by providing you with free financial counseling, higher interest on savings plans, and lower interest rates on loans. Savings products such as Christmas and Vacation Club, fixed deposits, and annuity savings allow our members to prepare for today and tomorrow without all of the hassle. Join satisfied Bahamians who left their banking frustrations behind. Open an account with GBCCU 352-4139. Journey to a serene oasis. Relax. Rejuvenate. Renew. Welcome to Renew Day Spa. For appointments, call 352-RENU. We've raised the state. We've raised the bar. We've raised the standard. Your new entertainment playground. Winners take chances. Chances makes winners. Chances remind you to game responsibly. No ordinary meals are served here. It's all truly Bahamian favorites. At Miss Nats, we're serving breakfast and lunch specials daily. Like Miss Nats' famous pea soup and dough, group of fingers, cracked lobster, cock and chicken. Fried, barbecued, hot and spicy wings, try them all at Miss Nats. Fantastic food, great service, new location. Turning now to sports, the month of August already shaping up to be filled with activities for constituents of Marco City as they prepare to host their upcoming basketball tournament. Romico Knowles has more. 
Member of Parliament for the area, the Honorable Michael Pintard, says that he's in the process of organizing a series of sporting activities. He says the Marco City Basketball Tournament is the first of many to come. We are very much interested in this constituency in fully establishing a sports advisory council that would enable us to organize a wide range of sporting activities. We believe that these activities are important because they build character for our young people. They allow our people to be physically fit, which fights uh, obesity and other non-communicable diseases. And uh, we also believe that athletic activities in general, basketball in particular, builds camaraderie among our young people. President of the Reach Out Ministries Youth Organization Dudley said encourages all young people to take part in this upcoming event, adding that two teams from the Reach Out Organization will be participating in what he calls the best basketball tournament of the summer. We always say there's not enough things for young people to do, but I think this is one of the a good initiatives that we could play basketball and also mentor the kids during that time. So I'm looking forward to all the young kids from Marco City Constituency to please be a part of uh, the best uh, summer basketball tournament. The basketball tournament scheduled for three weeks takes place on August 4th at the Richard Gator Park in Pioneers Loop, on August 11th at the Moon McPhee Park, and closes out August 18th with the Back to School Jamboree at the Jack Hayward Gymnasium. Registration is underway and forms can be picked up at the Marco City Headquarters. Tournament Director Oswald Simmons says a special All-Star game will take place on the closing out Saturday. We'll have a special award for, uh, for the the champions, two MVPs, then we'll have a gift certificate courtesy of the, the Marco City um, head, um, head, head office and the, and the member of parliament. So we, it should be a, a lot of fun coming out of there on, on the championship night. Now food, drinks and transportation will be provided. Reporting for ZNS Total Sports, I'm Ramiko Nose. And now to scores from last night at the YMCA Commercial League Basketball Semifinals. Polymers Pistons closing out the series with the final score of 67 to 61 over the Buckeye Oilers. Top scores for Polymers were Jay Philippe with 17 points, Dijon Wagu 16 points, Boeming Mullings and Cateno Moss with 14 points each, Clemente Martin led Buckeye with 23 points, Samante Taylor with 14, Randy McPhee with 11 points. Polymers will now take on the fast track at Jim Rats in the championship beginning Friday, August 3rd at 8.30 p.m. at the YMCA. And that's going to do it for sports tonight. More on makeup by Megan Coakley. When you want to look like a star. Phone 443-7979. Stay informed on your local weather forecast this 2018 hurricane season. Your number one news station, the ZNS Television Network. We've got you covered. Business owners are excited about ZNS Northern Service Storm Central Hurricane Packages because advertising rates are discounted up to 50%. That's right, get 50% off advertising packages this hurricane season from now through November 30th. Call our sales department at 351-3430 or 352-9713 and book your advertising package today. Influenza or the flu can be serious, causing hospitalization and sometimes death. One of the best ways to prevent acquiring the flu is to get your annual flu shot. Flu shots are available free of charge at all community clinics. The following high-risk persons are encouraged to get their annual flu shots. Children six months and older, pregnant women, adults over the age of 50, Persons with asthma, diabetes, hypertension, or a weakened immune system resulting from cancer and or HIV. Persons in nursing homes and healthcare providers. Additional information regarding the flu shot can be provided by your nearest community clinic or the Health Education Division at the Ministry of Health. This message is brought to you by the Ministry of Health in partnership with the Public Hospitals Authority. And that's going to do it for news and sports for us here in the North. On behalf of the entire team, I'm Megan Shepard. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. The Bahamas Tonight continues.
Welcome to the best of sports world. Hey, have you heard? ZNS is everywhere you are when you download the new ZNS app. Whether you're on the move or just kicking back. Miss something on the news? It's there. Want to keep up with a live update? It's there. Or just want to listen to your favorite station? It's there too. Download the app now from the App Store and Google Play Store. You're watching the ZNS Network, the People's Station. Coming up in the Bahamas tonight, the National Report. Police say murders are down. Ahead tonight, details of the police commissioner's crime report. Attorney General Carl Bethel rejects the grounds of a lawsuit to stop shantytown demolition. And investigators complete their report into the Andrus plane crash. Ahead tonight, what it reveals about the pilot. The Bahamas Tonight, the National Report, starts now. This portion of the news is brought to you by BTC Every Day. Good evening, everyone. I'm Keisha Adderley, and welcome to The Bahamas Tonight, the National Report. Topping the news tonight, police revealing the latest homicide numbers for the first half of this year, along with their ongoing efforts to reduce crime. The police commissioner detailed the information during a press conference at police headquarters today. Our Fern Carey has more. Police reporting that homicides are down over last year, with figures showing a drop in murders for the same period. Commissioner of Police Anthony Ferguson provided the update during a press conference at police headquarters on Tuesday. Last year, between January and June, there were 73 homicides. This year, while we had some challenges, homicides shows signs of reduction at 54. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very far from where we would like to be. But we cannot be ungrateful, as it is a start. And we are confident that we will continue to collectively work together. We should see further reduction. Now the commissioner is attributing this reduction in homicides the second quarter to a number of factors over the past few months. Increased visibility, the visitation of night spots you recall last year, um, some persons don't know how to behave themselves. They go out to a night spot to have fun, and then you look, they're pulling gun on one on each other and then shooting and killing people. We looked at that, and we determined that we need to visit those spots. Police officers, um, along with our partners who are operating with us, Defend Force officers, we can voyage on those troubled night spots, and we make our presence felt. Persons who are driving on the streets at night, we are up and about like a hawk watching them and going and looking at and looking to see what they are doing as they leave from there. Those persons who, use, who usually pull out guns as they leave in night spots and firing, we be right on them. The police commissioner further indicated that crime is down overall, and while he did not have the crime stats on hand, he said they will be released at a later date. Fern Carey, ZNS Network News. Meantime, the police commissioner revealing that some that those four suspects are in custody in connection with that daring daylight robbery of John Bull's Lucaya store in Grand Bahama. The robbers who were dressed in women's clothing stole $900,000 in high-end watches, including prized Rolexes. I'm extremely pleased with the progress we are making in respect to that, that matter. Um, we expect to continue to make um, greater progress as the day and the days go by. We have recovered um, items, and as I indicated, I am extremely pleased with the progress that we are making. Well, could there be another change in the deadline for shantytown residents to vacate those illegal structures? Jiminita Swain tells us tonight that government officials provided the answer today. Attorney General Senator the Honorable Carl Bethel responding to why the government is keen on giving Shantytown residents first preference to buy or lease land in those areas they're now being compelled to vacate. 
Note that many of those shanty town communities are on Crown land. Speaking to reporters on the steps of Cabinet, Attorney General Bethel said it's an issue government is adamant about. The government is not in the business of giving Crown land away um, to non Bahamians. And uh, Crown land should only be put to good use um, that will benefit the overall country. So this was agricultural land. It was land that was leased for farming to Bahamians for them to farm. That's a social benefit that accrues to the nation. Chairperson of the Shanty Town Task Force Committee, Senator the Honorable Dion Folks, referenced the Prime Minister's position on Crown land. Prime Minister said at the opening of a housing development recently that all of the leased land that's involved in this exercise will be turned into government subdivision, low-cost housing subdivision. And any Bahamian resident has the, has the right to apply for those um, houses. Bethel says the objective is to find a humane solution to a vexing and long-running problem, even if it's challenged in court. There's no grounds for any class action lawsuit. Every individual has their own individual circumstance, which may or may not give them an individual right to some kind of relief. I cannot see where a class action lawsuit is permissible under the rules that govern such things in Bahamian law. Senator Folks was emphatic about who owns the land in all of the shanty towns in question. We advise that all of the, the land that's involved with this matter is owned by the government. Um, all 11 of the shanty towns, without exception, are leased the land and leased for farming purposes. There's absolutely no, no authority for any of the residents to build a home. Um, we, we are conducting an intensive and thorough um, investigation with respect to lands and survey and the Building Controls Division of the Ministry of Works to ensure that that is the case. Additionally, folks made it clear that government is unwavering on the deadline commitment. We are working very hard. The August 10th deadline is a firm deadline. Um, that will not change. That is irrevocable. We are in the process of moving almost 300 derelict vehicles. 150 vehicles have already been moved. Um, today, we are moving another 50. Now we have an issue of uh, shanty towns which has been long lasting and vexing for decades now and we are trying in a systematic and humane way to solve this problem anybody who don't like it they can take us to court now the chairman of the shanty town committee is adamant that that august 10 deadline will stand and insists that residents that reside in those shanty towns must leave jimenita swain zns network news well, bread basket items and some medications officially go on the NOVAT list starting tomorrow, August 1st. Those items include baby food, bread, soups, butter, canned fish, cheese, condensed, evaporated milk and fresh milk, as well as a number of medications. Crystal Darling caught up with several consumers today to get feedback on this move. Just a matter of hours now before consumers can pick up those much needed bread basket items without the tax fee. We spoke to some shoppers about how they feel the change will impact them. I feel it's a good thing, you know. I don't think it should be in the first place, really, and truly, but now we got to be specifying what is the bread basket item because a lot of us don't really know what it is. I guess it will make it a bit better because those are the commonly purchased items, and uh, I assume that. Although it's, the list is pretty small, it should have a great effect, okay. cost-wise. To be honest with you, when it first was implemented, uh, I didn't worry about it uh, because I got to eat. One shopper even explained how the value-added tax has inspired her to be more resourceful and independent. What it has caused me to do is to focus more on our natural resources. And so in terms of uh, value-added tax not being attached to cooking oil, I've started to make my own coconut oil um, in terms of bread, even that, we make our own bread. And so I, in my mind, because I'm a person of faith, um, that is one of, because the Bible tells us that we are to give thanks in all things and to pull the best out of whatever circumstance. 
A few grocery store managers who refuse to be on camera say they do not expect much of a challenge in removing the 12% off certain items. However, they do expect to be burning the midnight oil and making sure everything runs smoothly so that shoppers are aware of the changes that will be implemented on August 1st. Crystal Darling, ZNS Network News. Well, joining us live tonight to talk more about those VAT-free items is Financial Secretary Marlon Johnson. Good evening to you, Mr. Johnson. All right, good evening to you, too. Well, we have this new uh, VAT-free list now after the initial 7.5% VAT and then the 12% that everyone is adjusting to now. We have a bread basket list of items that are VAT-free, including corned beef, I might add. Tell me how, as far as you know, this determination was made as to what is bread basket. We heard uh, some of the consumers we spoke to on the street today uh, question that. Well, you know, I think the bread basket items date way back to, they've been around for several decades. And that originally was created as a way to create price control around items which persons in lower income streams would consume on a regular basis. So that would have been the genesis of the bread basket. Uh, you know, your, your viewers would know that the government has indicated that, that what it constitutes the bread basket will be re reviewed and perhaps changed over time. But presently, the bread basket is as constituted under the current um, policy regime, and it includes those items which have been a part of the bread basket for some time now. And there's this, the same uh, question about medications. Obviously, uh, we know what some of the uh, predominant ailments are among Bahamians, uh, hypertensive medication, diabetic, uh, and that sort of thing. Is, is, is that what went into uh, determining which medications also fall into that fat-free uh, designation? Well, the, the medication um, designation is fairly wide. It includes all prescription medicine. So that if you get any medicine prescribed to you by a doctor that has an active ingredient, mm -hmm. that'll be VAT free. Then included all over the counter medication that again have some active ingredient in it. So if it is something that you take for an illness or an ailment, it includes gels, it includes uh, medicine, uh, liquid medicine, it includes um, injections, it includes quite a range of things that you can get over the counter. And the, and the caveat is that it would have some active ingredient. And so whether it's over the counter or it's prescription, it would fall under the VAT free designation. Well, we heard uh, business owners, uh, grocers, for the most part, uh, in the lead up to the implementation of VAT, talk about the adjustments that they would have to make uh, to, to their um, cashing systems, I guess, right. in order to, to deal with the changes. What are they saying? Are they adjusting? And, and as far as consumers are concerned, should merchants be talking about uh, items that were brought in right. before the, the VAT system changed? Well, to answer your last question first, no, all items from the 1st of July would have been, had to be adjusted and all items come August 1st would need to become VAT free regardless of when they would have brought it in. As far as the, the commentary and the feedback that we got from our merchants, you know, really and truly it has been fairly smooth from what we can tell. There have been questions, uh, the persons within the ministry, within the Department of Inland Revenue, our own revenue department, have been working hard to address the specific questions on specific matters. We've tried to done as much as we can to get the information out on Facebook and through the media and on our, on our website. And I'm pleased to advise that the Pharmaceutical Association and the Grocers Association have really worked closely with the ministry over through the month of July uh, to put together comprehensive lists. And so by tomorrow rollout, we expect it to be fairly smooth. Well, Sharp consumers will be keeping an eye out, I'm sure, for those prices and, and making sure, probably have their calculators out right. to make sure those percentages are correct. Will government agents be doing that too and make sure that uh, all of the uh, relevant agencies stay on the straight and narrow? Well, you know, the government would have announced that it has asked the Consumer Affairs Division to certainly become vigilant and go out for price controlled items. But generally speaking, one of the good things about this that I've seen is that consumers themselves have been very vigilant. They're, they're taking a look, they're looking to see if merchants are moving prices. And if people see things that they believe are questionable, we really want them to feel free to report it to the Consumer Affairs Division, especially for price controlled items. We also want to be mindful to let the consumers know that we have given businesses until the end of August to adjust their price lists. So you may see price lists on the shelves that may still include the VAT for VAT free items. But once you get to the counter and cash out, you really ought to check your receipt to make sure that VAT free items are being treated properly and to, to raise any points or anything that you think is anomalous. Thank you very much, Financial Secretary Marlon Johnson. They're great information. Thank you. Very, very welcome. Good. Well, stay with us. Still to come in the Bahamas tonight, a memorial held today for a former cabinet minister. 
and a close game for Team Bahamas on the hardwood. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, the National Report, your news leader. This portion of the news is brought to you by Shell, fueling journeys that matter summer promotion. Get ready. Commonwealth Bank wants to make this your best summer ever. Get the loan you need at a special discount this summer only. Cash for your best vacation, best laughs, best memories. And want to know the best part? You could win a trip for four. So don't wait. The discount ends soon. Talk to us today about your best summer ever loan. Approval is fast and easy. Conditions apply. You can count on me. Just call me and I'll come run it, run it. No matter the I got into comedy from the day I was born, and I look up and I saw who my parents was. <laughs> I know my life is going to be interesting. <laughs> The Bahamian people inspire me, like 100%. I think the keys of the success to the band Visage has been uh, the ability to stay relevant for the many years that the band has been around. Technology, it keeps me connected. What technology have done for me is priceless. I don't know how I would be able to survive uh, without it. If I would describe BTC into one word, I would say innovative. Family, family all around. Communications, lifeblood of the Bahamas. BTC every day. Every day, every day, every day. Summer is here, and it's the time of year we love getting together with family and friends. And nothing shows your love more than one of KFC's new buckets. KFC's Bucket Love is all about our freshly prepared chicken, delicious side, and hot buttery biscuits starting at just $20. KFC, it's finger looking good. There's nothing as powerful as knowing where you belong. No more waiting. It's time to come home. Come home to friendly smiles. Come home to convenience. Come home to more interest on savings and lower fees. Come home to our bank and your bank. Come home to Bank of the Bahamas, your bank of solutions. Extraordinary could be right there in front of you without you even knowing it. It's something unique, rich and rewarding. Full of character. A bold expression of flavor like no other. Discover extraordinary flavor. Guinness, made of more. This portion of the news brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. An official funeral for former cabinet minister Fenton Nemore will be held on Thursday, August 2nd at 11 o'clock at Christchurch Cathedral. Interment will follow at the Woodlawn Garden Cemetery. The body will lie in state in the foyer of the House of Assembly between the hours of not at starting rather at 9 a.m. Wednesday and public viewing is scheduled for the hours between 1 and 7 p.m. Meantime, the Free National Movement held a memorial service today at its Mackey Street headquarters, reflecting on the former cabinet minister's life. Nemo passed away last week following a battle with cancer. Family and friends gathered to pay tribute to the man with the big voice. Among those remembering him, his colleague, Tommy Turnquest. In 2006, I was a part of the negotiating committee, along with C.A. Smith and Carl Bethel, to come to terms with the then CDR to join the Free National Movement. It was from those negotiations that ultimately Fenton and the late Charles Maynard became MPs and members of the 2007 Ingram-led cabinet. Now, Turnquest added that when he visited Nemour earlier this year, he was in good spirits. In visiting Fenton, he was upbeat and positive, and wanted to talk about all sorts of things, never concerned about himself, but 
like always others. He had clearly left his situation up to God. This was later publicly displayed a few weeks ago when he appeared on a talk show and laid bare his illness as a testimony, particularly for us men, to take care of our health. The Air Accident Emergency Department has made public its findings on that Andrus plane crash which killed five people back in January, describing the crash as unsurvivable. The plane went down off San Andros. Much of the report focused on the pilot, a 41-year-old man. The report notes that he received his private pilot's license from the United States on a second attempt back in June of 1999 before adding a multi-engine rating to his private pilot certificate and an instrument rating in March 2014, also on his second attempt, with the English proficient airplane multi-engine VRF only. That means that he had not demonstrated proficiency using instruments for navigation in a multi-engine aircraft. The report also reveals that 129 flights were documented by the pilot. However, there was no evidence to show that the ill-fated Andros flight was for compensation or higher. The report also shows that the plane was designed to carry five passengers and the pilot, but that several flights were documented with as many as eight passengers on board. This portion of the news was brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Know how you can save more money, save more time, earn more interest, and have more for the future? The solution is an account from Fidelity Bank. With our ASU Savings, Fixed Deposits, and Preferred Client Program, you can get free financial advice from our team of experts, competitive interest rates, and free online banking for simple and safe banking anytime, anywhere. Open a fixed deposit or savings account with Fidelity by visiting a branch today. Get into the rhythm of saving with Fidelity. Fidelity, we're good for you. What is a promise? A promise fulfilled can mean so much. A bond, a commitment, a vow. It's a yes in a world of maybes. We made a promise to you and we delivered. Our super fast LTE network is now on every island. And every day we invest in local communities and technology so we can deliver the best of everything to you. Our promise is our guarantee. And now we promise our best is yet to come. Alive. Believe. Available at Jimmy's Liquor Store or your favorite restaurant or liquor stores throughout the Bahamas. Catch a sizzling hot back to school specials at Carrie's Fabric and Department Store on Mackey Street. Uniform fabrics for all schools. Ready made uniforms, best quality, lowest prices. Selected jumpers, 30% off. Carrie's has all your school supplies, including the popular Jansport backpacks. Get up to 20% off backpacks and lunch bags as low as $7.95. Carrie's Fabric and Department Store, your complete back-to-school headquarters. Ring, ring, to gold to We've all got plans for our golden years. Unfortunately for many, this may just be wishful thinking. To generate an annual income in retirement of $70,000 for 20 years at a rate of return of 5%, with inflation running at 3%, requires more than $1.1 million. So how do you save that much money? Many companies provide a group pension plan to help their employees by deducting an amount each month from their pay to contribute to the plan. Personal Pension Plan, or PPP, is similar to a group plan 
but offered only to individuals. These plans offer many of the same benefits and features. Contact us for more information on pensions. GM Appliances on Robinson Road has all your air conditioning needs this summer, like the Comfort Star 9000 and 12000 BTU 13 Sear for just $399. Or how about the Comfort Star 18,000 BTU just $599? Or how about the Comfort Star 24,000 or 36,000 at the lowest prices possible? We also carry a large selection of air conditioning parts such as fans, compressors, filters, capacitors, or any part you may need. So call today at 328-2083. We're located on Robinson Road. That's three. Whether you're renovating your home, furthering your education, or shopping for a new or used vehicle, RBC offers flexible and convenient financing that fits your budget. Apply online or visit your nearest RBC branch for expert advice on how RBC can help you get a flexible, customized loan at a great rate. RBC, reimagine how you buy. Independence Day, sunny days, regardless and homecomings are all a part of Bahamian Summers, as are the weekly specials at Super Value and Quality Supermarkets. Feliz Ready Cut Macaroni, 400 gram box, 99 cents. Whole chicken wings, $1.59 per pound. Craft salad dressings, 8 ounce bottle, 2 for $3. Joy Dish Liquids, 30 ounce size, $2.99. Sweet Cherries, $3.99 per pound. Carolina Pride Ham, 10 ounce size, $2.99. Bahamian and Proud, that's Super Value and Quality Supermarkets. This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. The Caribbean's leading tourism conference is coming to the Bahamas this fall. The Caribbean Tourism Organization's State of the Industry Conference is set for the Atlantis Resort from October 2nd through 5th. Hugh Riley, Secretary General and CEO of the CTO, says at the Caribbean Tourism Organization, we must be in the forefront of anticipating and managing the changes which affect our region, including extreme climate phenomena, political and economic realities at home and abroad, and the rapid rise in technological developments. The Board of Directors of the Caribbean Development Bank has approved funding in the sum of $4.4 million U.S. to help Guyana enhance its transportation sector and support the development of interior communities. The funds will be used to finance feasibility studies and designs for the upgrade of the Lethem Aerodrome and the construction of a new bridge at Wismar and a new riverine transport terminal at Paraka. The selected sites are all considered to be priority areas for improvements by the government of Guyana. The Mackenzie Wismar Bridge was constructed 51 years ago and includes just one lane. On average, about 3,000 vehicles cross the bridge each day. And according to annual statistics released Monday by the Bureau of Economic Analysis in the U.S., the total amount of U.S. money invested abroad grew by $427 billion in 2017, or 7.6 percent. Most of that increase went to Europe, and $63 billion of it to the Swiss, bringing the U.S. cumulative investment in the country to about $250 billion. This has been your Royal Fidelity Business News. Beauty, brains, and Bahamian pizzazz captured the hearts of the judges as Tisha Johnson and Cassidy Capron were crowned Little Miss Regency and Junior Miss Regency at the International Pageant in Las Vegas. The newly crowned queens were overwhelmed with joy. Me traveling to Las Vegas, competing in the Bahamas, it was just amazing, exciting. It was so many feelings, and it was a feeling that was completely new to me. I was like, wow, I won? I was like, wow, that was so amazing. I just couldn't believe it. I, I couldn't have done it with the help of my supporters and especially God and my country. First, you're like, wow, I just won internationally. <laughs> but overall, you're very excited and you know you have a big responsibility as you are representing girls all over the world. So. Director Thyronda Clinton of the Little and Junior Miss Regency pageant says this victory validates the progress and enormous strides the Bahamian pageantry industry is making. It 
really solidified, like I said before, that we have internationally um, competitive queens. Once they are boxed properly and supported by their organization and supported by the country, we can do this. I feel great that not only one girl won, but both, because it made me to know that we were doing something right, and once it's done correctly, we can also capture other big title pageant um, titles, for example, Miss World or Miss Universe. So once we come together as a country, as an organization, as a people, and support our girls, our ambassadors, we will do well. Well, that does it for this segment of news. Stay tuned, though. Sports is up next. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, The National Report. Shell is taking you on an exciting journey with its summer promotion. Now through September 14th, enter for your chance to win a brand new 2018 Toyota Yaris. Just make a minimum purchase of $20 worth of fuel from any Shell service station in Nassau. Answer the skill question on the entry form and submit. The grand prize will be drawn on September 14th. Other weekly prizes include free fuel vouchers and VIP packages to see Jay-Z and Beyonce live in concert August 31st at the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. For more info, visit their Facebook page at Sun Oil Bahamas. card you can be in the know right now turn on notifications for your visa card from cibc first caribbean and you will know every time your card is used cibc first caribbean banking that fits your life over the hill is a place that salem union baptist church is making an impact upon we see the results of it in terms of um, resolution of criminal activity and also the positivity of the people that live here. And so we look forward to this partnership with the government. Thank you. The proceeding was brought to you courtesy of the Over the Hill Project. Here we are, Independence Week. What a great time for our country. And here's the way that our citizens feel about turning 45. No better place to decide to talk to somebody about what independence means than finding one of Nassau's hottest DJs and one of the spiritual cloth. Cash again, 45 years. What does independence mean? Well, independence means to me uh, just a great time for us as Bahamians to come together to celebrate the land that we love. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been a long road for a lot of Bahamians, and every time that we get to celebrate on the park, uh, July 9th going into July 10th, it's just a great time to look back from whence we came and to where we're going. We have a bright future ahead of us, and I'm excited every year around this time to celebrate independence. So we were talking with Kira about independence. I mean, here we are, 45 years. Yes. We're what does independence 45. mean to you? Well, 45 means a beautiful milestone, and it still signifies that the Bahamas is still very young. We're still just, you know, like adolescents. So we have a long way to go, and we're still trying to, I guess, figure it all out and find the best way to our democracy. So here's my favorite thing about independence, that all 45 of these years, you have stayed with BTC. Happy Independence, Bahamas. I'm Corval Piper, and we'll see you next BTC Connection. Every island and every
Move forward, Bahamas, and build high into the sky. Move upward and colorize those new walls. Move onward and build a garden to last a lifetime. Move together and settle into that new home. There's a lot of places you can do it for yourself, but there's one place to do it right. Builders Mall. We know exactly what model you live by, and even the pros know building is just a part of what we do. So move forward, Bob. And remember, you can find it all at Builders Mall. All right, it's time now for a check of your weather. We turn things over to Chief Meteorologist Basil Dean. Hey there, Basil. Uh, good evening. Right now, we're going to take a look at our temperatures around the family of islands. And they are brought to you by Family Guardian Insurance Company. We protected you. 88 showing up in Freeport, Grand Bahama, Green Tool, Keen Abaco, also Marsh Abaco at 88 degrees. The Berry Islands, a little cool at 84. Also, Alistair and Bimini, 84 degrees. Here in the capital, 84. And that extends right into Harbor Island, Rock Sandy, Lutra, Otterstown, Cat Island, Stanley Key, 85. 85 also in Kemp Space, Lord Andrews, Fresh Creek, and Central Andrews at 84 degrees. More 84s in San Salvador, Rumkey, and Georgetown, Exuma. San Salvador at uh, 84. Betsy Bay Mayor Guana, 83, Crooked Island and Clarence Town, Long Island, 84, 84, also in Ragged Island, by the way, Acklands, 83 degrees, Matthew Town in Nagua, 85, and the Turks and Caicos Islands at 83 degrees. Your boating forecast tonight is brought to you by Builders Mall, home of FYP, the Tile King, and the Pink Center. For the northwestern parts of our country tonight through Thursday, we expect the winds to be southeast at 12 to 18 knots. Your wave fights 3 to 6 feet with a moderate chop. High tide will take place tonight at 10.07. And for the central and southeastern islands, right into Thursday, winds southeast at 15 to 20 knots, wave fight 4 to 7 feet over the ocean. And that caution flag will continue right into Thursday for the central and southeastern parts of our country. And that's going to do it for your boating forecast. It is time now for your trial forecast. And your trial forecast is brought to you by Royal Star Assurance. And that's going to do it for your trial forecast brought to you by Royal Star Shorts. But stay tuned, your extended weather forecast is coming up in about 20 minutes. Welcome to Tips for Wellness. I'm Dr. Indira Grimes. Sexually transmitted infections, or STIs, are infections you can get by having sex with someone who has an infection. These infections are usually passed from person to person through sex. They can also be passed through anal sex, oral sex, or skin-to-skin -skin contact. STIs can be caused by viruses or bacteria. STIs caused by viruses include hepatitis B, herpes, HIV, and the human papillomavirus, or HPV. STIs caused by bacteria include chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis. If you have ever had sex, you may be at risk for having an STI. Your risk is higher if you have had many sex partners, have had sex with someone who has had many partners, or have had sex without using condoms. Common signs or symptoms include itching around the genitals, discharge from the genitals, pain during sex or when urinating, pain in the pelvic area, sore throats in people who have oral sex, pain in or around the anus for people who have anal sex, chancre sores or painless red sores on the genital area, anus, tongue and or throat, a scaly rash on the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet, dark urine, loose light colored stools and yellow eyes and skin, swollen glands, fever, and body aches, unusual infections, unexplained fatigue, night sweats, and weight loss, soft, flesh-colored warts around the genital area. The only sure way to prevent STIs is by not having sex. If you have sex, you can lower your risk of getting an STI by only having sex with someone who isn't having sex with anyone else and doesn't have an STI. See your doctor if you are at risk for having an STI, if you have any of the symptoms, or if you have concerns about whether you have one. 
STIs can cause serious health problems if left untreated. This has been Tips for Wellness. I'm Dr. Indira Grimes. Live your best life by living well. At Outback Marathon Mall, there are no rules, and that's just right. We are the tasty and affordable choice for both indoor and outdoor dining, watching the big game on big screens, or just having a few with friends at the bar. Our friendly staff at Outback love to make your family dinners, lunch meetings, hangouts, and birthday celebrations a blooming good time. Dine in, take out, or have us bring Outback to your event with just a call. At Outback, there are no rules, and that's just right. Life is better with Rubis Rewards. Just fuel up and swipe for your chance to win free fuel. Cash back in our stores, restaurant and store discounts from our partners, plus prizes and surprises. It doesn't get better than this. Your Rubis Reward tag is free at every Rubis service station in New Providence. Get yours today. Rubis, it's just better. Life happens, and when it does, FG Insurance Agents and Brokers is here. We help you protect the assets you've worked hard to attain. We offer home, auto, marine, commercial, and liability insurance. Don't hesitate to protect what matters with FG Insurance Agents and Brokers. Visit us and speak to your agent today, or call us at 396-1490 in Nassau or 688-1500 in Freeport. Mill Generals on East Street South is well known for the best quality and lowest prices on all your grocery and houseware needs. Mill Generals has a large selection of meats, produce, dairy items, water and juices, all your favorite snacks, housewares, vegan products, gourmet items, and health supplements. Anything you can think of, it's all sold right here at Lil Generals. Lil Generals also provides the best customer service, making you want to come back again and again. So visit Lil Generals today on East Street South. Call 325-5798. Go Global, Bahamas! Introducing Welty.com, the newest online shopping sensation, providing you with the lowest pricing and everything you want and need. You can now shop in comfort and gain access to any items such as living room, dining room, and bedroom sets, all electronics, washing detergents, school clothing, high-quality human hair, health supplements, air conditioners, watches, underwear, the finest colognes and perfumes, or anything at the lowest prices ever. And all deliveries are free. So visit the website, Welty.com. That's W-H-E-L-T-Y.com. We make your life so much easier. Whether you want to get going in a new car, to relax at home while you pay bills on your mobile banking app, to get the best rewards with your credit card, or to get a sure start on your little one's future, whether you want a quick response on your loan, or just a range of services that keep your business running smoothly, you want banking that fits your life. CIBC First Caribbean, banking that fits your life. ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. The B3 is meeting last night to decide whether or not Stephen Gardner will be cleared of any wrongdoing at last year's World Championships in London. The Tribunal Committee, they presented their report to the board and B3's Secretary General, Jermico Archer, tells us about the outcome. After reviewing the case, we realized that as a, as a board, for the avoidance of any potential miscarriage of a process, we determined that it would have been best for us to impanel an independent tribunal. And uh, leading that tribunal was um, former jurist Malcolm Adderley, together with uh, Julian Stewart and Dr. Timothy Barrett, Dr. Julian Stewart as well. Uh, and of course, they would have gone through a battery of uh, investigations, would have met with the head coach and the relay coordinator, and in the end, it was determined that there is no real case to be had, and the matter was dismissed. Uh, it was an important exercise for us because we wanted to maintain the integrity, one, of the process, as well as to maintaining the integrity of the athlete and the federation. Uh, we're satisfied that that has been done. 
Another busy day on Monday for Team Bahamas at the 23rd edition of the Central American and Caribbean Games in Colombia. Kelsey Johnson made the rounds. The time of 46.49 seconds gave Alonzo Russell a spot in the final of the men's 400 meters to be ran on Wednesday night. Russell, who ran out of lane three, won heat two and was the only athlete from his heat to qualify. He has the fifth fastest time heading into the final. Based on the season best, you know, I had the fast, the season best, so I kind of went a bit confident, but I didn't want to be too confident, you know, because sometimes that can work backwards on you. So I just went out there and just run hard the first 30 minutes and just oh, held on until I reached 200 and just made a move. You know, it, it was a pretty easy race so overall. You know, I just want to go out in the final and hope, hope to bring on a medal. Ken Mulling struggled in the javelin event and needed to run a strong 1,500 meters to get onto the podium. Mullings 6,973 points accumulated over the course of two days placed him fifth overall. I can't complain with it because I still came out with four personal bests, but I like the competition that was there. I just, I just faulty up in the throws and executing part, but in physical condition I was there. I have to go back to the drawing board, build up some more upper body and get more consistent because my consistency is not there at all. The men's national basketball team scored only 10 points in the third quarter while their opponents netted 23. Cuba went on to win the game 97 to 80. Three players in double digits for the Bahamas. Jackson Jacob led the way with 13 points, two rebounds and three steals. Michael Carey and Markson Ford scored 11 and 12 points respectively. The doubles team were handed a loss and bowed out of competition in fourth place. Daniel Thompson and Simone Pratt were defeated by Monica Miatis and Monica Puig of Puerto Rico 6-2 and 6-love. Team Bahamas making its debut here in fencing at the CAC Games. Up first on Monday was Antonio Lewis. Even though Antonio lost all of his matches, he was very grateful for the opportunity to compete at a higher level. Well, I feel very confident even after the match is over and unfortunately I wasn't able to win any of my bouts. I would say that it was a learning experience and I look forward to fighting the same, some of the same opponents to see how much I've improved. Coming to Colombia, I was able to practice here in their facilities and Thankfully, some of the athletes and their coaches, they were gracious enough to say, well, let's spar or let's help you out. Head coach Anthony Lewis believes more needs to be done to bring awareness to the sport. I want to move into the family islands where there is some interest shown. Islands like Illustro, Grand, bah Grand Bahama definitely was the birthplace of fencing in the Bahamas. So we've got to revisit Grand Bahama, Freeport in particular. Elutra is showing interest, so is Abaco and Exuma. And only then I would feel comfortable calling our association Bahamas Fencing Federation. Head coach Anthony Lewis is hoping to grow the sport when we return to the Bahamas. Reporting from Barranquilla, Colombia, where the 23rd edition of the CAC Games is taking place, I'm Kelsey Johnson, ZNS Total Sports. It's been a busy summer so far for the Freedom Farm Baseball League. And as Charles Fisher tells us, the fun isn't over just yet. We have been working out on a regular basis and leaves later on this week for the under-12 Kial Ripken Baseball World Series in Branson, Missouri. Second baseman Dante Fox knowing the hard work will pay off. It's been wonderful because we get to learn more and our coach helps us to perform better. And he shows us the right things. How do you hope to perform when you reach to the World Series? Now that's the big leagues, the big dogs, though. Uh, I hope we represent our country and that we play with our, all our ability and put 100% effort in it. What do you think is going to be the key for you guys to pull this one off? By working hard. Once you work hard, go out of your box. Mm -hmm. He ain't going to let you down, so we got the privilege to win this tournament and represent our country. This team can compete with the best, according to outfielder DeCarlo Delancey and catcher Shamonte Bain. At practice, we've been training hard. Well, I think we could train a little. I think we're preparing well for the for the World Series that we're going to attend. I think once we give 110% effort, we do, we do good. You have a lot of talent. Young, strong. You know, some of us believe, we believe in ourselves. We try hard. 
practice every day, achieve our goals. Head coach Greg Burris Jr. likes the team they have assembled. We have a very athletic team. Um, we have a good pitching staff. Um, we had some troubles in the last tournament on defense, but I think we, we've, we've covered some of those, uh, those gaps and we're going to be able to have a good show in this tournament. Describe the type of boys that we have with. Uh, motivated, um, very athletic, uh, guys who could run strong, throw, who could really throw the ball. So in some cases, we, we kind of just use our athleticism to, out, to win games, but these guys are also pretty good at playing, playing baseball, uh, catching the ball, throwing it, uh, and getting hits. The tournament is round-robin format with the Bahamas in Group F International, along with Puerto Rico, New Zealand, and Australia. For Zedna Toll Sports, I'm Charles Fisher. The board of directors of the Junior Baseball League of Nassau has announced that Jeffrey Walcott has assumed the role of president of the organization and that became effective on July 25, 2018. He replaces Bertram Murray Jr. who served as president from 2014. I've been around the league now for, for nine years and I've been one of those parents who have been committed uh, to the league. And you know whenever you get to a point when you feel that you can offer more than just being a coach, and then you, you put yourself in that position, and um, I'm glad to be a part of it. You know, I think it's an exciting time for the league, um, and I think there's a lot of things that we're going to be doing in the upcoming year that I would like to be uh, intimately involved with. In coaching 12 you you're dealing with 12 years now you're dealing with adults, <laughs> you know, but I, I don't think this could be a big difference. I think we're all unified. Uh, we all have the same, uh, the same aspirations and concerns. Uh, for the league um, and I think that's important for us and I think uh, once we get together as the leadership team I think we're going to put a lot of things in place uh, to ensure that the league um, strive from strength to strength. First we want to um, I think grow the volunteer system. Um, volunteer drive is very very important. Um, we find that um, coaches come and coaches leave particularly when they bring their kids. Uh, we want to ensure that we can have stability with coaches. Um, we also want to grow the umpiring. We have a lot of umpires who have been a part of it, um, and we need to add some more umpires as well. And you're coming into a time when it's been about a few months since everybody's been under one umbrella of the BBA. And that's a good thing. That's a, that's a very, very good thing. Uh, we've seen the benefits of it already. Um, and I, you know, for, I'm a newcomer to baseball, and to be honest with you, some of the things I've heard and seen, um, you know, I'm not too happy about. And I think now that we're under one umbrella, I think a lot of things are going to change, and we're going to see that very, very shortly. Hooping by the Park is a part of the 30th anniversary celebrations for the Fox Hill Festival. It starts on Friday and runs through the holiday on Monday. Hooping by the Park serves two purposes. One, we want to obviously showcase the talents of these young men and women within the Fox community and outside of the Fox community. And secondly, we would love to bring that positivity and that light and on, on back to the court. With that being said, we'll be having four divisions. The under 16, the under 19, the women's open, and the men's open. Through the help of the committee, the MP, and our corporate sponsors, we are happy to announce that the under 16, the under 19, as well as the women's division, will be free of charge. Yes, free of charge. And that will come with a tournament jersey. We will be able to have the response of impact images. We'll have donation of backpacks ready for the kids, and as well as refreshments powered by Powerade. For the men's division, we have a registration fee for $200, and that would include jerseys and, again, refreshments throughout the duration of the tournament. The Hooping by the Park initiative is all thanks to Jabari Wilmot and Kieran Pratt. And like you just heard, it is fully endorsed by the area's Member of Parliament, Chanel Ferguson, and corporate sponsors like Rubis. This is a, an idea that they hatched while in university. It didn't die there at university. They came home and the dream was still alive. And this Friday, we'll see the realization of that dream where they're bringing to Fox Hill hooping in the park. It's a one elimination tournament. So come hard or go home, as they say in the NBA. And um, everybody's fighting for all the marbles. So you have to bring it. This is the place to be. We look for opportunities like this to engage our young our youth in the Bahamas in positive activities. And we, when we discovered what uh, Mr. Wilmot wanted to do with this uh, competition, we were delighted to partner with him. Uh, not only is this important uh, for the community spirit of Fox Hill, 
but also for the young people and the, the island in general, because he's invited teams from all across the island to take part in this in the, in the competition. Youth Empowerment Through Soccer International, better known as YSI, is a nonprofit organization that has provided scholastic and athletic opportunities to young Bahamians since 2011. And this summer, the organization will be offering mini camps with coaches in search of identifying new, young, gifted, and talented players so they may too be invited to join the other inspirational programs that YSI has to offer. Now, the camp will begin in Elizabeth Estates August 1st through the 3rd. They'll be at Uriah McPhee August 8th through the 10th and Windsor Park August 15th through the 17th. Registration begins at 2.45 and the camp will run from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. And that will do it for sports. Stay tuned. The Bahamas Tonight comes back after the break. ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center. Outback Marathon Mall, there are no rules, and that's just right. We are the tasty and affordable choice for both indoor and outdoor dining, watching a big game on big screens, or just having a few with friends at the bar. Our friendly staff at Outback love to make your family dinners, lunch meetings, hangouts, and birthday celebrations a bloom in good time. Dine in, take out, or have us bring Outback to your event with just a call. At Outback, there are no rules, and that's just right. Adrian Gibson. Now the Bahamas residents can fly or cruise free to the family island. What are your summer vacation plans? I'm going to go to Long Island, and you should come too. And there's no better time than now with the two fly or cruise free promotion, where all residents of the Bahamas can fly or cruise free to the family islands from Nassau. Let's go. Refresh, reconnect, and unwind in the family islands. For details, go to BahamasResidents.com and fly or cruise free to the family islands today. The Morning Edition is here on the ZNS Television Network. Waking up to traffic, weather, news, and developing stories. It's the Morning Edition with your ZNS News team. Waking you up. Hey, I'm Megan Shepard, a reporter here at the ZNS Northern Service. Did you know that ZNS is right at your fingertips when you download the new ZNS app? Missed something in our newscast? That's okay. Simply pull up the app, swipe, and you'll find all of our news headlines and highlights. So what are you waiting for? Download the new ZNS app today. Time now for weather. A look at weather, nothing in the tropics to report to you. It's quiet and it will be that way at least for the next uh, five days. And now we have that upper level trough now making its move towards the west, so that will lead to a bit of clearance, but uh, don't move too soon. We have this tropical wave near the southeast Bahamas that's also moving towards the west, and that will bring some shower activity to the central Bahamas tomorrow. And uh, hopefully, we'll get some of that here in the capital within the next uh, 36 hours. Forecast for tonight, partly cloudy with some late showers developing. 79 degrees will be a low temperature. And tomorrow we're looking at partly sunny, a bit hot with a moderate breeze. So that will add some comfort uh, tomorrow. 89 degrees for your high temperature. And the seven-day forecast will unfold like this around uh, 89 right through the seven-day cycle. We're going to keep you in the upper 70s during the nighttime. And uh, it just looks as though you're going to have lots of sunshine over the weekend. So for those of you who are planning those outdoor activities this weekend, it seems as though that's a go for you. So I'd be relieved that there are 80s instead of 90s. I haven't seen that in a while. Absolutely. And as a matter of fact, today the uh, heat index only mm -hmm. got up to about 98 degrees. We have been uh, in uh, triple digits for the last uh, several days. And, uh, only 98 we, degrees. Uh, 90. <laughs> thanks, Basil. That does it for us in the Bahamas tonight. On behalf of the entire news team, thanks so much for looking in. And don't forget to join us at 7 a.m. for the Bahamas in the morning, I guess. The, the morning, morning edition, edition of the news. Right. That's what it is. Join us at 7 a.m. That's it for us, folks. Good night. The ZNS Network, the People Station. Well, we had to grow our own creatures. 
pigs and sheep and goats. We need to change the mindset of our young people because we have to be able to feed ourselves. Definitely we don't have the comforts. Um, as simple as communications, being able to talk to your family because I'm not from here, I'm from Mastic Weather Red Base, Los Angeles. Women play an important role in the development of rural areas and to our national economies. They account for a significant portion of agricultural labor, play a key role in food production, and perform most of the unpaid care work in rural areas. Hello, I'm Beverly Kirk.